Hey everybody, this is M Peoples. Now here's why you never get a second date. This is from an article I read in GQ magazine. Shout out to GQ magazine, I'm not getting paid to say this. Anyway, here's a couple reasons why. You're showing off your muscles, you're a sloppy eater. I mean, not to the it's understandable if you have messy food, but you just, you're a gross eater. Let's see, you being rude to the waiters, waitresses, let me say racist and homophobic stuff. Yeah, that's not a very good idea. Racism and homophobia crosses the line, but it also crosses the line when you are being rude to the servers. And, and here's a reason why you should be nice to the servers. Have you seen the Ryan Reynolds movie, uh, Waiting? I mean, Waiting. W-A-I-T-I-N-G. Wait. My siblings and I watched it mid movie, and it has some good points. Don't mess with the person handling your food. Because when you mess with somebody handling your food, you have a tendency to feel something thick in your food. Or your food has some type of a bite to it. And if I was on a date with that kind of person, I would tell them straight up, look, you be nice to the servers. If I feel something thick in my food, I'm whooping your tail. Because have you seen the help? Don't trust the person handling your food after you insult them and treat them like dirt. Because you're not royalty. You try making whatever dollars an hour and get blamed for something that's not your fault. Their job is just to bring out the food. Just take your order and bring it out. It's not easy being a server. I say this out of experience. I heard horror stories. Let's see. You don't piss off the person who has the ability to cause an E. coli outbreak. Let's see. Another reason why you don't get a date. A second one. Let's see. Telling me I'm stuck up because I won't kiss you or I have sex with you on the first date. No. First of all, if you want the cookie, you have to earn it. I mean, I don't owe you. Big deal, you took me out on a date. I don't owe you anything. It's not like you saved the world. It's not like you saved my brother or sister from cancer. Or gave them a heart transfusion. Big deal. You won't get a second date if you're at the movies and you're texting. I mean, really, that's disrespectful as hell and that's very distracting. You know, at least turn your phone off when you're in the movies. You won't get a second date if you try to sue me for something petty like $17. There was this one, uh, oh, I was trying to look at that. There was this one store where a guy tried to sue a girl for $17 because she was texting in the movie theater. First of all, don't take your date out to the movies if the lead uh, protagonist is Chris Pratt. And you are nothing like him. You're not handsome or you're not classically handsome, you're not attractive. That's not a very good idea. That's why I read in GQ magazine. <clears throat> That's why I read in GQ magazine. Second of all, this disrespect on her part to be texting. Don't assume you're not disturbing people. I mean, this is kind of a good way not to get a second date. Don't be texting. You have you give your date your full attention. 
I mean, dating, the first date is like a job interview. Meeting the family is also a job interview. Why I say that? Because first date, you're on your best behavior. Act like it's a job interview. And ladies and gentlemen, treat the date like it's a job interview. So, what are your goals? Oh, where's your career? Are you in school? Where'd you go to school? That. And you won't get a second date for me if you're doing gross things like picking your scabs. That's disgusting. I mean, nowadays people have no home training. Now, you won't get a second date from me if, let's see, you talk about your home life. Don't drop all that crazy on me. Not, I'm not saying don't mention your home life or your childhood. I mean, don't mention the crazy parts. I, that's not something you want to hear on a first date or job interview. And don't compliment me on my boobs. That's not something you want to do. And don't chain smoke and drink like a fish on the first date. And don't drink yourself to your, to the point where you get sick. No. Me, I, I don't drink or smoke, but I don't feel like having to babysit a person I just want a first date with. I, mean, I don't want to babysit you when you're drunk. I want a person who can hold their liquor and drink responsibly. And I don't want to date a douchebag who's going to offer me a gym membership. Like, okay, you're shallow. It's not like I lied to you about what I look like. If you didn't like that my body type, you didn't have to go on a date with me. That's pretty much wasting my time. Thank you, shall jerk. I don't know why guys or girls do that. I mean, you don't offer a gym membership to a stranger. Makes you look shallow and makes them look insecure and pissed. And don't try to change a person, like talk about religious beliefs and try to convert somebody. It's not your business what they believe in. And don't criticize or berate somebody about their eating preferences. Eating preferences. I mean, don't criticize or berate a pescatarian or a vegan or a vegetarian. And then have the nerve to say that you only eat meat, bread, and cheese. You won't get a second date if you try to propose to to the person. Like, give them a promise ring or an engagement ring. First of all, I don't know you! Why are you doing this? That gives off this gives off the problem one you're impulsive two I could be a serial killer three impulsive and jump into things too quickly and four you're that desperate hell no oh for people who are on terrible dates tell the server you want to see an Angela if they recognize what that means, I read in an article that they're supposed to help you get away from the date. Like, call a cab for you to get home safely. Anyway, this is M Peoples. Like and comment. Tell me, what won't you get? What will cause you not to get a second date? Sorry. Dehydrated. Anyway, this is M Peoples. Comment. Deuces.